Wisconsin Jigglypuff player Martin on the right. Oh, Jigglypuff's here. And I don't know the player on I the I heard left. a Falco. Are we star Oh, we're in English, of course. Killer Blue, I know Killer Blue. I was actually going to guess it was Killer Blue, but I have a hard time. We got Killer Blue, we got Lord English. I really like this matchup as a spectator. Okay. I'm scared whenever I play it. Tell me what you like about it. I think that because Falco is an inherently fragile character and Jigglypuff is uh, Jigglypuff, that the swing is back and forth that this match can take whenever the Falco gets kind of like one tap makes it always interesting, you know? I also think that Falco has all the tools to make Puff's life kind of hell. Yeah. But he's not dead. But, you know, when he... When he oh. I think we actually have an interesting dynamic in this match in that Falco's die in every matchup at, you know, 40% sometimes. Sure. Whereas, like, when you're playing against a Sheik or whatever and you rest them at 20, that's, like, that's, a big that's never happened before. Yeah. They're, oh. not, they're not really used to die. But Falco's ready for the system to be an upper off the top. I think there's a couple things to look out for in this matchup. Sure. Um, Jigglypuff's use of platforms. You don't want to be locked down on the ground as Jigglypuff. If Falco can get in this mode where he's lasering you to prevent jumps, and he's daring you just like we saw, you get this, like, I don't know if it's happened to you. I'm sure it is if you play this matchup. Oh, you mean I've been scared you get, so, so much I just hide in shield and they just... And then you get dared over and over again, and then you get dared into the ground, and you roll, and you get dared, and you get a attack, and you get dared, and you... And it's just... And it feels hard and then to get out of. The percentage where your shield is small and down tilt and Falco will just kill you off the top. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. So we got to see some safety on platforms for for Killer Blue. We got to see some good wave dashes out of shield. Roll isn't that good against Falco. He's pretty good at covering it. Oh, with Killer laser. Blue Falco. I don't know if you. Oh, I'm sorry. You're good. With Lord English, of Lord course. English. I am very familiar with Killer Blue. Um, you wouldn't know that, but I would. He is. He does play Chicago tournaments. <laughs> Um, okay, even two stocks apiece. So, so uh, in, in, that, in that, like, you know, Falco's always at, you know, he can die at any percent so they get kind of used to it thing. The lower stocks that these two have, the, the more his inherent weakness is going to come in, unfortunately. Because now, Puff, uh, it's Puff game to lose in a lot of ways. Yeah, they Puff, can, yeah. Puff's ahead. an incredible last stock character. And they're not even on last. Time. Yeah, and she's an incredible. I mean, she's just a good character. Yeah. But like in this sort of end of the game, the trades start being a little bit better for her. We saw in the last stock, um, maybe a little bit of unfamiliarity here from from Killa Blue, getting um, forward air before it's thrown off stage, and he yeah. didn't. He he held too far down, and yeah. he didn't. He couldn't threaten so landing landing nice. on stage, and the fair was just free, and it was a great a great cover from Learn English. I don't know if we're going to see it this game, maybe game two, but at this point, uh, at this point, because of the percentage, ooh, is that just going to be it? Great short Yeah, that was awesome. Up there? Wow, weird trade. I don't know if I've seen that one. Showing off another short. Martin this is tough. Martin it's not impossible. I was going to say, Martin can literally just be anywhere near her kill blue. Because kill blue is at high percent, he'll shield, and then Puff just gets the ground. Yeah. And that's a, that's a... Sort of representing the top on. And that's it. That's dash attack. You also saw you also saw him represent dash attack there. That's a big catch the lasers because because Falco's a really airborne character. Yeah. You so you're pretty familiar with Lord English and his his play. Yeah. What sort of threat do we have here from things like tech chase rests and um, you know I, like I the quick? I think it's going to be a lot more the same than what we've been seeing. We, he's got low percent rest setups. Oh, he could have rested that. He could have rested that, but he didn't. I think, yeah. I think he. I think his um, his rest game is fine. I don't think he's a like rest everything kind of pop. Yeah. He is a attack damage on and then converting. The and he's playing some great neutral. He has yeah. some, he had some good edge guards, but he's not that sort of like. He is hitting him. Fully explosive. Yeah. Like the solo battle style. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. He is fully capable. Is that gonna kill? Nah, not quite. He is fully capable of landing another rest if he needs to. But I think whether it's a preference thing or just like a a matchup thing, he's probably just gonna do a lot of his killing with just. Hitting them with moves off stage and then edge It'll be interesting to see if Killaboo knows that and how that affects his, uh, you know, how scared he is of the grab and how, you know, you've got to be scared of the grab, of course. But we've been seeing forward throws, and forward throw isn't the the throw of the puff who wants to rescue four times, right? Exactly. I mean, sometimes you get those forward throw rests. Jab there, clean um, it out. Take any aerial there, would it kill? Yeah. I mean, really good on Killaboo to get out of that awkward situation where I'm at zero and puffs at 100. And yeah. Puff does anything. I might die. Yeah, someone's arrested there. Yep. And then that could just be 
good stuff on the laser that support, and his first pound of the set hits. So, I'm a big fan of these nares as well. Yeah, the nares, the, the kind of like yeah. approaching but not super committal nares, where if Falco kind of walks towards you, he gets popped in the face. Ooh, actually, I think Mark did read the jump there. He just, he yeah, I feel like he stayed a couple reads a little bit low on the side B and, and not been quite confident enough to like really kill them off, but he's his neutral has been good enough, two for two on bounce, yep. that uh, it ha he hasn't needed the, the big critical hits. He's He's been allowed to play neutral in a way that Falco doesn't always let you. Yeah, and, yeah uh, I mean, there's not nearly that. I mean, this is partly to Martin's credit because he's not letting it happen, but he's not getting locked down in shield, he's not getting lasered down air a million times. Yeah, do, do you watch, when you watch melee sets, are you watching from the perspective of one player? I tend to watch from the perspective of the character that I'm, I'm more familiar with. Right now I'm watching from Word English's perspective. I played a lot more Puff than I have Falco. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, I don't feel very pressured. I don't feel like I'm getting locked down. I don't feel like, you know, you know what I mean? Like I can put the moves in the places that I want to. And that's not a great sign. Yeah. Good job. He has the awareness to know that he didn't get spikes done there. Blue one, uh, he's got to win one more Mario Party mini game. That's a rest. Oh, oh. That been a rest. That yeah, that's a rest on the on the that's land on the platform. I'm not even like a reactive tech chase kind of. I actually would have liked the down air there. The down air is surprisingly good to cover those double jumps. Yeah, it stays out for a while, and honestly, one time it's below edge. I don't know if you've been watching Hungrybox lately, but this is one of Hungrybox's new things, is no. that anytime someone tries to double jump to ledge, he's just off stealing their double jump with down air. 2-0 win. Um, good set. Certainly yeah. good play from both players. I don't think we saw one single rest in that set. Is that correct? I don't think so. He so. Just, he, Maybe the very first stock, but I don't remember. Maybe. We got more kills from four throws than we did from rest, though. Yeah, I think it was a lot of, like, um, you know, from Martin's point of view, we'll talk about Kill Blue in a second, but from Martin's point of view, from the Puff versus the Falco point of view, it's like you want to hit him at least once, maybe twice, and then a lot of things are scary. Grab scary because you just eat him up in the air and give him the fucking epo. Yeah. My second swear, I'm going to try to keep it under four. Uh, 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 <laughs> you know, the, the grab gets scary when they're at around, you know, that's 12 to 20% because it just leads to instant death a lot of the time. Yeah. And because the grab is scary, the things that beat grab, you can start to read, like up airs. You know, you can start to, like, oh, they don't want to shield in front of me. They're going to jump. You up there, rest. That gets scary. Anytime you put them on a platform, I'm looking to rest that. But honestly, Martin didn't even need to. He yeah. kind of just, you know, why risk it when you're just feeding him so cleanly and the, like, whittle his percentage up a little bit, pop him off stage, forward air. Yeah, and you can definitely get in this mode where 